Hi everyone, Blake Jones here, and in this episode of How Do You Do That, we're going to go over the optimum configuration for setting up your grading suite. I always recommend the first place to go is to download the Resolve Configuration Guide from the support page on the Blackmagic Design website. This guide is extremely good for coming to grips with the basic things you're going to need for setting up your grading suite. Okay, so what we want to first start off with is our computer, of course. So if you're going to have a mobile grading suite, you probably want to think about a laptop. So what you might probably want to do is maybe think about something like an Apple M1 uh, MacBook Pro, or you could have, if you want to go the Windows route, you could go with um, either the HP computers, a Asus a ProArt laptop is also an extremely good choice. Uh, the ProArt uh, ASUS laptop is excellent because this does have an um, enterprise graphics card built into it. You also have the ProArt display, which is excellent. Now, as for how much RAM you're going to need, always think about um, 16 gigabytes of RAM. Minimum 32 is preferable. And then you have to think about a decent size system disk. I usually go anywhere between 512 gigs to a one terabyte system disk. Then also you have to think about your graphics card inside because remember that Resolve gets its acceleration from the internal graphics card that you have in your computer. So you have to make sure that the graphics card will match the type of work that you're going to be doing on Resolve. So for example, uh, with this, um, I would refer back to the uh, Resolve configuration guide, and this will give you some good pointers actually for what type of graphics cards to choose for uh, what type of media you're going to be grading. Now, if you're going to be making a home workstation setup, then you could probably go with either a, uh, the new Apple Mac Pro and also um, another option would be to go with the Hewlett Packard uh, Z8 computer. This is an excellent choice. Both of them are very quiet. You can have them in the room with you. And what you can do as well is you can also put an internal RAID configuration on the workstation and you can use this for storing your media because you have to remember that Resolve will only run as fast as you can supply the media to it. So this is something else to consider. Now what I usually do is I have an external direct attached storage that I configure. So I use something like an Accusys uh, 8 bay RAID storage which is connected by Thunderbolt 3 or you can have it connected to PCIe um, to a workstation if you don't have Thunderbolt 3 connectivity. So this is a, an excellent choice. It's fast storage, easy to set up, and very reliable. So now we've been talking here about our computer, A, our storage, B. So the next thing we have to think about is a grading monitor. So you need something that you can work with that's not going to be tiring on your eyes. It's going to be big enough. The sweet spot for me is a 32 inch. And so for example, my personal favorite is the Asus uh, PA32 UCG monitor as my grading monitor. And for my graphic user interface display, which is this one here, I'm using the PA32 UCX. And so this is a perfect combination. They work well together. Now, the next thing we have to think about is a grading panel. So I don't recommend grading with a mouse. If you're grading a long program, then it's not going to be an ideal situation. So I would recommend getting a grading panel of some sort. Now, for example, Blackmagic has a wide range of control panels. You have the uh, micro panel, which is a very uh, cost-effective, small, and fully functional panel. Then you also have the mini panel, 
which is a little bit larger, has some more dedicated buttons on it. And then of course you have the advanced panel, which has uh, buttons for each function of Resolve can be accessed on the control panel. There are also third party panels, which are available from companies such as Tangent Devices, and um, these work excellent. They're very good panels as well. So there's a lot of different ones that are available. And it just depends on how your budget will fit with what you're going to be doing. Another thing to consider too is your desk area. Desks should be comfortable and also not, um, because remember, you're going to be probably sitting here for many hours working and you should have a nice comfortable chair too, because if you have an uncomfortable chair, you're going to feel it after a couple hours. And I know this for, uh, from experience. And sometimes I've changed chairs many times until I settled on the chair that really works well for me. So uh, there's a lot of different things to consider in this area. Another thing too is the room lighting. You should have a soft light behind the monitor and usually it should be a daylight balanced light and this soothes your eyes while you're working and gives you the best experience. Also, if you're working with uh, audio too, you should have a small sound system built in with speakers. Now, if you're gonna be doing editing in the room as well, and you're using Resolve for editing, um, there is also now the Resolve Speed Editor keyboard. And uh, this is an excellent choice because it's a great little panel. Uh, it's either connected by USB or Bluetooth, very fast to use, highly recommended. Also things to remember, when you're using Resolve, there are several different licensing schemes when you're using the system. So for example, you have either a dongle, which is a USB key that's plugged in, or you have the option of getting a license key. Now the license key will allow you to run Resolve Studio on two computers simultaneously. And then if you want to, uh, to say deactivate one computer from the license, there is an option and there's a pull down menu in Resolve that allows you to deactivate the license and then you can reactivate it on another computer. Another thing you have to consider too is backing up your um, media. I always say this is an important thing to consider when you're working that you wanna make sure that you've got backups of everything and to use a function such as Frame.io or I.O. Gates. Uh, these are two fantastic ways of doing this. So there we have it. This is just a, the first sort of step for configuring your grading suite and just to get you going. So for more information about training services, have a look in the comments below. And also for more tips and tricks videos, have a look at the other videos on my YouTube channel. And uh, we're going to be constantly adding more things. I'm also going to be starting to do some live streams as well. And so this way you can submit questions in the chat room. And there's a lot of different things that are be coming up. And also think about becoming a member of my Patreon. There's a lot of great perks there. And also please uh, subscribe to my channel. So this way you can be alerted for when all the new videos will be coming up. Thanks and have a great day.